Go to Ask the Expert here to answer your questions live on the air. Dr. Sonal Harder from Dignity Health Medical Group. Okay, our first one, Sherry from Phoenix. Are sleep apnea mouth guards very effective? They are. They can oh. be effective in sleep apnea. Now, here's the difference. It's a CPAP machine and then mouth guards, yeah. right, or sleep guards. And these can be more convenient or comfortable for some patients when you compare them to CPAP machines. Yes. But it's also important to know the degree of sleep apnea. So if you have severe sleep apnea, you might be a good candidate for a CPAP machine and not just a mouth guard or a sleep guard. Okay, good to know. I'm sure your partner would appreciate the mouth guard more though yes. too, right? Okay. Exactly. Tara in Avondale says, I've seen a lot online about alkaline water. Mm -hmm. Is it worth the hype? And please refresh one. I'm not familiar with alkali alkaline, alkaline water. water. Okay. Yes. So basically what it simply means is the pH of the water is slightly higher than the regular water okay. we consume. Okay. So the water we consume has a neutral pH at seven. Alkaline water tends to be between eight and nine. Oh. And there are claims that this alkaline water is good for us for anti-aging purposes, oh. anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. However, we don't have enough evidence to back up all those health benefits. Okay. There are some small studies that show some benefit. Although we know that alkaline water, generally speaking, is safe. Okay. But our body does not regulate pH based on what we eat and drink. Yes. Our lungs and kidneys actually regulate our pH of our body. Okay. So is it unsafe? No. Do we have all the evidence to back up the benefits? Not necessarily. So don't waste your money. Exactly. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Brad from Phoenix says, is mouth taping while you sleep, is it safe? Does it help? Mm. So the question here is why are we mouth taping? And that's basically because we are not breathing by our nose, so we are forcing ourselves. So the question is to find out why is it that we are mouth breathing? Because that happens in sleep apnea, which yes. can be dangerous. And the, the treatment for that is actually a sleep appliance or a CPAP machine. Or if you have severe allergies, if you're congested, or if you have a deviated nasal septum. Okay. So you, it is very important to find out why is it that you are mouth breathing, yes. not just taping it. Right. Because you have to treat the underlying cause. Okay, okay, interesting. So definitely check in with your mm -hmm. doctor. All right, Hannah from Surprise. Should I trust health and wellness influencers online? I feel like we're doing a verify segment right now. My goodness. Yeah, I'm there's so, so many. Yes, I'm so happy you asked this question because this is all over social media. I say, take that information. If you have any questions or curiosity, go back to your certified healthcare provider mm. and talk to them about your own personal medical history, your medications, your family history. One size does not fit all. And as we know, some of these claims are not backed by good evidence or study. Right. So it can be dangerous. Yes, so it's almost like verify it with your own doctor. Absolutely. Yeah. Audrey from Yuma, does melatonin work well? Oh, I've always wondered this. It does work. Melatonin actually works great to initiate sleep. Mm -hmm. It's great for jet lag, people who have night shifts and are trying to regulate their sleep, mm -hmm. or people who want to stay a little bit more natural in aiding their sleep habits. Okay. It does work. It does not work for everyone, yeah. but it does have some medical benefit in initiating sleep. Okay, but to stay asleep? To stay asleep, it it is not the best option. Okay, got it. That's my problem. To, Staying yeah. asleep. Mine too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Sonal, thank you so much for from the verifies to all our viewer questions. We so appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Our in-studio guest on Monday will be a money expert to talk about setting financial goals for 2024 and sticking to them. Now that the holidays are over, it's time to get back on track and pull in those purse strings. We'll give you some tips on how to make that happen, and our expert will take your New Year's financial resolution questions live. Again, that's Monday on 12 News at 4.